before you create the actual elevation sheet, we need to open up each elevation and make sure we turn a few things off. The first thing you'll notice on mine is I have the box around it. This is the crop view. So I should come down in my small toolbar and say, hide crop region, I'm sorry, make sure that that crop view is, or show crop region is turned off so that you do not see the box. The second thing is, is I have these elevation lines. I want to right click on one of them, hide in view, category. So both of them are gone. You want to make sure that e all four of your elevations look something like this, where I see the walls, uh, I'll probably see the ends of the floors, doors and windows, but no elevation lines and no crop view region. This is now ready to be put on the sheet. I've done my other ones for time's sake, so you don't have to watch me do that three more times. When I'm ready to make the sheet, I right click on sheets, say new sheet. It may ask me to save my project, which is fine. After it does that, I will choose the D size paper, push OK, and have this. Now I will start to add my elevations. So I'll have to may have to scroll up in my project browser so I can see all of the elevations. First one I'm going to add is the north elevation. As I bring it on, place it up near the top of my drawing. Now, quarter inch to a foot will probably fit most of your elevations, but you may have to mess with that depending on your size. You want to make sure to change the viewport to being title only. And if yours has done what mine has done and thrown your tile way out here, you can click on it once and that gives you the move arrows. And then as you click and drag, you can move it tightly. And I'm going to have all of mine just under the left edge of the actual elevation itself. So next I'm going to bring on the west elevation. Just like on a compass, the west elevation will go to the left hand side. I'll click and set that down. Again, remove the line and move mine over just a little bit so that it's similar to the one above it. Nice part is, is that it should maintain that relationship. So if I want to move my top view, my north elevation over a little bit, it will maintain that relationship. Next, I'm going to add the east elevation to the right, just like it is on a compass rose. I can line that up. The software will help me do so. If you don't have the space to line them up next to each other, you can move the west elevation up some and the east elevation down some so that they maybe cross, uh, they uh, come, you know, go across the midpoint there, but don't actually interfere with each other. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have a uh, title only and I move it to match the rest. The last one I will add will be my south elevation. Similar to the way the north elevation was centered on the page towards the top of the page, this will be centered on the page towards the bottom of the page. Again, remove the line. Again, make sure that you place your label in a consistent manner. Now, to make this a nice drawing, I would probably um, go ahead and even these out so I have about the same space between the bottom of the south elevation and the border as I do with the top of the north and the border. Equalize the space between these views. Kind of set everything up so it looks very professional. I'll also need to go ahead and fill in my title block. Remember first and last everything's in capitalized letters when you fill these out. This is for the house project. Scales already filled in. Sheet name for this should be elevations. 
And depending on your page numbering so far, you should adjust the page numbering to match where it needs to be following your detail views. At this point, the elevation drawing is now complete.